Hey, and welcome to another episode of This Week in Pokemon Go, my weekly news show. I'm Trina Weaves, and this week we have loads of news, actually. Tomorrow, Saturday, the 22nd of September, is Chikorita Community Day. So, for three hours, and check PokemonGoLive.com in order to find out what time those three hours are in your area. But for three hours, we will have Triple Catch XP, we will have Chikorita everywhere, there will be shiny Chikorita available, and if you evolve one up to a Meganium in that three hour window, it will have Frenzy Plant. So get on out there and hunt your shiny Meganium. Mewtwo is no longer in X Raids and has now become this month's legendary raid boss. So if you see any black eggs on gyms with silvery swirly bits around them, that is a tier 5 raid. You will need at least four high-level trainers in order to take Mewtwo down. Probably more if you're anywhere under level 35. Because it is tougher than the version that was in X-Raids. It also has a tougher catch rate, so... You want to get good at doing catches for those. My pro tip is to wait until it's on the ground. You'll see it do an attack where it swings its arm and swings its arm back and the Mewtwo's tail will drop. When you see the Mewtwo's tail drop, that's when you should let go of your curveball. Of course, you can keep throwing excellent curveballs, and it still might jump out, but good luck! Two charge moves that were previously available to Mewtwo caught in X-Raids are now gone. They're legacy moves, you can't get them anymore, and those are Shadow Ball and Hyper Beam. Mewtwo with Psychic and Focus Blast are still available, and you can also get ones with Flamethrower, Ice Beam, or Thunderbolt. So what does that mean for X-Raids? Well, Niantic have announced that Deoxys will be coming to X-Raids, and that will be its normal form at the moment. They've said nothing about how the other forms will be released, presumably in a few months' time it'll change over. But what you want to do in order to increase your chances of getting an X-Raid invite is do raids at the X-Raid eligible gyms. And you can tell which gyms those are now because there is a flag in the top left corner, just a little symbol saying X-Raid. So if you can only do a few raids, target those gyms. The other new thing they've announced with Deoxys is that X-Raids can actually be shared with a friend now, but only if you're at Ultra or Best Friend status. So make sure you are getting those friendships up by trading or doing interactions every day with your local community. Other things Niantic have added to the system are you can now swipe away notifications. It doesn't really show you, but basically just touch the notification anywhere and swipe quickly. If you don't swipe, then you'll get taken into the news, so do it fast. They've also added in a little notification icon on shiny encounters, because there are things like Squirtle where the color is barely visible, especially in bright daylight. Where you would see the weather icon on the CP above the encounter, there will now be a little shiny symbol, which is just three stars. You could look out for it tomorrow when you're looking for Chikorita, because that one is a completely different color, so hopefully you'll recognize it. They've also fixed the animations and the audio in the Pokedex, so if you like jabbing Pokemon icons in your Pokedex to hear what they sound like, you can go right back and do that. For the current Kanto event that we have going on until 30th September, we now have two more shiny forms, and those are Geodude and Growlithe. I've been checking them obsessively, but haven't seen one yet. And finally, the biggest and best news for those of us who are not in super dense areas is Niantic have finally started trialing Pokestop submissions in Pokemon Go. Now don't get your hopes up, it's only for level 40s and right now the beta is only happening in South Korea and Brazil. But it means things are happening and I will talk more about how submissions work in a separate video coming in the next week or two. Of course, submitting a potential Pokestop doesn't mean it's guaranteed to get in the game, Pokemon Go submissions actually go through to the team that review portals for Ingress, and there are a lot of criteria that you have to meet. But it's a start, so I'll be looking forward to it. Until it rolls out in your area, what I would suggest is to get together with your local community and start identifying things like signposts that you could submit as portals. Also local artwork, sculptures, not memorial benches, they don't like those unless it's someone really famous. But basically, big points of interest in your area. And finally, if you happen to be in England this weekend, there is the EGX Expo happening in Birmingham where Pokemon Let's Go is playable, yay! So I had a quick go on it, 
It is quite an early build, so a lot of things like the motion control throwing are not properly implemented. It doesn't really reflect how the final game will work. I was talking to the guy in the stand who said, yep, curveballs will be in the game, but they're not in this build. But I did get to have quite a good look at the Pokeball Plus. It is a lot smaller than I was expecting. Still kind of bulky to put in a pocket, especially if you're female. But it's quite comfy, I guess. Anyway, that is all the news for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoy Pokemon Go news. Maybe subscribe. I will see you guys soon. Goodbye.